Taking 12 months to shoot in locations throughout the UK, Edge of Tomorrow is based on a Japanese sci-fi novel by Hiroshi Sakuruzaka. Bringing the story to life on screen was Born Identity director Doug Lyman. Doug, very warm welcome to Top Billing. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show. What I love most about your movies is they defy convention. So we've got a really fresh take on, on, the, on the genre which has been done a lot, which is time travel. I really do think of myself as kind of a, a rebellious filmmaker. And here I am making a movie with the biggest movie star in the world. There's aliens, like, I'm, you know, probably the only way I could sleep at night was to just turn that whole thing upside down. And making Tom Cruise a coward, I mean, that must have been fun to watch him screaming on set and trying to work out how to use a gun. I mean, it was a conceptual idea, and then once we started doing it, it was like, he makes such a good coward. And not just a great coward, he makes a great, awful soldier. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized, like, you've never seen Tom Cruise be bad at anything before. He's a great comic actor. People don't realize his comic timing is amazing. And that's another thing about your movies, yeah. is finding that comedy in these absurd moments. And, and there's some great moments. Yeah, no, well, there's great absurd moments. And, you know, when you force somebody to relive the day over and over again. And, and, uh, and when you try to, you know, put real characters into that, the situations are absurd. And, and having Emily Blunt who's such a great comedian herself, and so no-nonsense. I mean, maybe because of the British accent, we just love watching her be no-nonsense and just be like, let's just get on with the day and let's get this done. And, you know, and he's obviously not that way at all. He's a little bit more, you know, he's a little more loose and he's starting to fall in love with her. And, mm. you know, and then, you know, when she shoots him for the first time and you're like, whoa. whoa. As a passionate filmmaker myself, I'd love you to tell me about being able to fly a helicopter into Trafalgar Square, Square yeah. having it all closed down for you. Not only that, you're behind the camera, you're operating the camera with Tom Cruise. Yeah. I mean, that's what it's all about for you, that guerrilla filmmaking where it's you, it's the camera, it's the actor. It was one of these massive endeavors where you're going to have three hours, you know, and that's it. No second chances, unlike the character in the film. At the core of that, with all of that pressure, it's just the camera on my shoulder and Tom Cruise and yeah, there's a giant sequence happening around us, but it's just me, camera, and actor, and that's, that's my favorite kind of filmmaking. The main challenge for Golden Globe winner Emily Blunt was operating armor weighing as much as 59 kilograms. Find me when you wake up. Yeah. I got to try on Tom's exosuit early. What do you think? I actually wanted to cry. <laughs> I cried the first time I put it on, so it's all right. Yeah. Really overwhelming and quite scary being strapped into that thing. Yeah. I was kind of lost for words. I mean, I to yeah. think of how many months you must have had to do yeah. stunts. And I mean, I learnt all of the stunts without the suit on first. You know, I did a lot of stuff on wires. It's very aerial fighting style she has. But then when you do it with a suit on, you just kind of relearn the whole thing again. And there were days of immense frustration and an and upset and all of that. I never cried. First day I put the suit on, I cried because I was like, oh, I was lost for words like you. I was like, this is impossible. Like, how am I going to do this? You just sort of get used to it. The weight of it, it becomes more familiar. And I mean, I didn't even go out of the dock. Oh, did you not take no, the full weight of it? Oh, I could you... feel the weight. It feels oh, right. like you've got two toddlers hanging on you yeah. all the time. <laughs> Maybe it's more. Like dragging that kind of weight around. Yeah. But still, you make the action look beautifully choreographed. Thank and I mean, you. It's, it's amazing how that... A lot of practice. Testament to the team, obviously. Yeah, yeah. The stunt team were absolutely incredible. Just incredible with me. You and Tom Cruise, like, you've got such a great thing going on screen there. And you and Tom, like, starts out as a coward. And you're coming from a small independent background. And he's this massive movie star. And it just works. You always hope that you're going to vibe with the other actor, and it's a funny thing. It's like I, I'm always interested in you know, the space between two characters when they're working, and it either kind of sparkles or it doesn't. Or... Tom is, he is the, the unconventional choice for this, but it's wonderful to see him do it because yes, he's a global movie star, but he's a character actor. He's played so many different roles, you know. So in a way, he's like an indie actor on a huge scale. <laughs> I, I usually gravitate towards smaller films just simply because the characters are better. But that's not the case in this one. This was the biggest budget I'd ever done, but at the core of it is just a role that I couldn't say no to. This movie is essentially a love story which resets itself every day, which is great because you've got explosions, you've got aliens, but at the heart of it, you've got a love story which is constantly evolving. That was a great dynamic because, you know, for him, he's lived with her for thousands of days and she's met him that morning. And so it must be a disconcerting thing for her to know that there's a certain familiarity that's progressing from his point of view. And for her, she still wants to keep him at arm's length, you know, because she knows the danger of that she had this power she also had those feelings for somebody that she lost over and over again she knows how much that wears on you it's a disarming situation for someone to be in i think we better start over don't you what and you got to keep your accent i did <laughs> <laughs>
You, have you tried the South African oh, accent I knew before? I you were going to say that. How's it? How's it? There we How's go. It? Say, say but, but this is the most lacquer interview I've ever done. This is the most lacquer interview I've ever done. It's so bad. It's so hard. It's good South African lacquer. accent. With a budget of almost $200 million, no thrills were spared in this epic. It hits cinemas tomorrow.